I am gonna talk about the battle between humans and robots in the marketplace. So a really common question I've gotten from people over the years, especially people who are just you know graduating from, from universities, especially people with financial engineering type degrees, is Derek, as a hand discretionary trader, how do you compete in this world of robots who seemingly have a bigger advantage than you because they don't have emotions and they could be much faster than you? My response to that is it depends on the product that you're trading. So in the equities market, wealth is created and destroyed. So there doesn't have to be a loser for someone else to be a winner. In theory, obviously it never works this way, everybody could be making money at the same time. Also, in theory, both human beings and robots, potentially we can coexist. They can make money and I can make money. With that said, obviously you wanna trade in a way that can be strategically advantageous to you. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being a human who is trading versus a robot that's trading the market? And that's really the question that I'm asking myself. What is the difference here? Because I want to align my trading with my strengths. So what are the advantages that a robot has? Speed, they're much faster than me. Also, they're gonna do specifically what they're programmed to do. They're not gonna be subject to emotions and that's one of the biggest drawbacks of being a human being is fear and greed heavily weighs upon our decision making. As opposed to the robot, it's just gonna be stone cold doing exactly what it's supposed to. If one of the biggest advantages of being a robot is speed and I'm just a slow human being, well, I'm not gonna try to compete against them in speed trading. I'm not trying to do high frequency trading. I'm not just trading spreads in the marketplace, just sitting on the bid and offer, trying to collect rebates or anything that really requires speed. Even some of the ways that I used to trade when I was a newer trader, a lot of the scalping techniques that I used to use that were shorter time frame trades, that's become much more difficult over the years because the robots just have a strategic advantage there with their speed. Now, another benefit of a robot like I said before, is that they're not subject to emotion. They're just gonna do exactly what they're programmed to do. But that's actually also a weakness. They're only gonna do what they're programmed to do. As a human being, I can adjust to changes in the marketplace much faster than a robot can. So for example, we know, or I know as a trader has been doing this for over 10 years, the market environment is constantly changing. There are strategies that I've used previously in my career where I was consistently profitable that straight up do not work anymore. So I don't implement those strategies. And as the market environment changes, I need to constantly change as well. But what if you're a robot and you have a specific strategy that you implement that pays you really well right now, and all of a sudden the market environment changes in such a way where that strategy doesn't work anymore. You can't just quickly switch and go to a different strategy. That robot needs to come offline and kind of be rebuilt to a new strategy or the new market normal. There was a, a really cool scenario that happened back on August 24th, 2015 that I remember very specifically because this was like the day when the humans won. That morning, the market gapped down huge and then had a ferocious sell-off in like the first half hour of the day. It was almost like a, a mini flash crash and it was a result of some overnight news that came out of China. And I, as a person, was able to adapt to what was going on and come in and really buy the dip. I was encouraging my, my team in the virtual trading floor to do the same thing and it worked out really well. At the end of the day, or maybe it was a week or two later, I was able to get some research on that trading day. The sellers that day in the market environment were primarily robots. The buyers were primarily people. That was the low of the year in 2015. So, you know, basically that was like the ultimate example of the humans beating the robots because we all came in as net buyers. We recognized, you know, something has changed here for the market. This is actually a huge buying opportunity, but the robots, they almost had like an emergency switch that said liquidate everything. And that's what created that like opening mini flash crash in the beginning of the day was the robots coming in and liquidating all their positions and the smart people adjusting and coming in and buying it. So again, who's gonna win at the end of the day? Robots, people. Well, the answer really can be both, but you gotta know what your strengths and weaknesses are as a person. You have to have strategies for yourself that can make you like a machine so you're not 
you know, just following your emotions and your trading, you're just following your game plan. You have to recognize certain time frames you might not be able to compete, but if you're able to follow your strategies, be on the right time frame, think big picture, you can be a consistently profitable human being trader. Are you looking for guidance on how to navigate this stressful market environment? Well, one of the best ways to do that is to have access to the most accurate and fastest information available. If you join my open house for the ProDesk virtual trading floor, you'll get five days of free access to my team of licensed professional traders. My name is Derek Oldensmith, and I'm a professional proprietary trader at T3 Trading Group and leader of the ProDesk virtual trading floor. I'm here to invite you to the ProDesk open house. The open house gets you a free week of my virtual trading floor, which is normally $195 a month or $19.95 for a year. You'll also get access to my team's daily morning meeting and daily afternoon meeting. Every afternoon meeting is gonna end with a team Q&A, which is gonna be an opportunity for you to ask any questions that are trading related. To top it all off, on Tuesday and Thursday at noon, you're gonna get to attend two in-depth lessons about game planning and probability in trading. Now let's check out what the virtual trading floor is gonna look like. Here is where I'm gonna be sharing my screen for our team's daily morning and afternoon meeting. Up here in the alert section is where Pat gets his daily morning note posted every day. And down here in the chat section is where you're gonna see real-time news and option flow, and you'll be able to communicate with me and my team of professional traders. Click on the link in my bio to sign up for the open house today.